Mrs. Johnston. We are going to read another reader, another story out of our reader book. Before we begin our story, there is a word in our story that we need to review. The word is snip. 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 Snip is to give a small pinch. The lobster will snip your hand with its claw. Our magic word or our special word from our story was snip. So the title of the story that we're going to read today is Fun at the Pond. Listen along as Mrs. Johnston reads. Sam is at the pond with his pals. Six frogs rest in the wet mud. Sam runs at the frogs. The frogs hop in the pond. Sam's pal Chad digs up a crab. The crab gets mad at Chad. The crab snips at Chad's hands. Chad drops the crab. Jen lifts up a log and spots a bug. The bug is long with lots of legs. The bug runs and digs in the sand. The pond is lots of fun. That was the last page of today's story. So we're going to scroll back up, and now you get to practice reading with Mrs. Johnston. Follow along. We'll start with the title, Fun at the Pond. Sam is at the pond with his pals. Six frogs rest in the wet mud. Sam runs at the frogs. The frogs hop in the pond. Sam's pal Chad digs up a crab. The crab gets mad at Chad. The crab snips at Chad's hands. Chad drops the Crab. Jen lifts up a log and spots a bug. The bug is long with 
lots of legs. The bug runs and digs in the sand. The pond is lots of fun. Now we're going to scroll up and it will be your turn to practice. So pause the video, practice reading this page, and unpause the video when you are ready to move to the next page. Great job practicing with reading the first page of this story. Let's move to the next page. Pause the video so you can practice reading this page. Unpause when you're ready to move on. Were you able to read the second page on your own? Let's move down to the third page to practice. Pause the video, practice reading the story, and unpause when you're finished. I hope that you enjoyed reading your story today with Mrs. Johnston and on your own. If you would like extra practice or would just like to reread the story again, you may play the video over again. Next, work with the adult who's helping you to answer the questions about today's story.